I want to give you an end of September update from right here at Union Rescue Mission. In fact, from my office, which I rarely see because I'm often out and about. Uh, September has been a very busy month. Uh, we started out by hosting and, and helping to sponsor uh, the Christian Community Development Association Conference, their annual conference, and people from inner cities all over the world and the country come to learn from each other. And I was uh, given the opportunity to speak about love in action. And I shared that uh, love in action sometimes gives you the loudest voice when speaking up about issues. And Union Rescue Mission is all about love in action. Uh, we had 19 beautiful women, proud women, courageous women, graduate from our Hope Gardens Family Center this month. And when the moms graduate, the kids are inspired uh, with hope. I ha also had a great opportunity to speak at a CSQ gathering. Uh, it's a gathering of millionaires and billionaires, uh, which made me a little nervous. But uh, again, I got the chance to speak up about the passionate work uh, and was claimed to be a passionate visionary at Union Rescue Mission. But it's only because of this astounding place and the uh, amazing work that we do that I was asked to speak, and, and that was wonderful. I need to make you aware of our 125th anniversary celebration, October 24th at the Hilton in Beverly Hills. And if you haven't gotten your tickets, uh, contact us, contact Carmen Herring, K Herring, K-H-E-R-R-I-N-G, at urm.org and get signed up. We want you to come out and celebrate because you are a huge part of our 125 years of history. Uh, as you watch this, I will probably be sitting in a hospital bed, healing up uh, from a surgery. I'm actually having my right leg uh, removed from the mid shin down. Uh, as you might remember, recall, I, I received three flesh eating diseases from the streets of Skid Row, but don't feel bad for me uh, because actually, uh, this thorn in the flesh, I shared this in chapel the other day at, at, at the mission, this thorn has actually uh, become a blessing to me that I've embraced because it allows me to do ministry much more effectively here at Union Rescue Mission and out on the streets. I'm much more approachable. Uh, people aren't intimidated when I wheel up. Even a, a group outside that was dealing and smoking spice, I rolled up and began speaking to them. I'm never confused anymore being in a wheelchair. I'm never confused with being an uh, officer. Uh, so this has given me an advantage and uh, I will be as strong or stronger than ever in my work. I do appreciate uh, your prayers and I appreciate not only your prayers but your support for Union Rescue Mission. September has been a tough month. We have so many people under our roof. We never turn away a woman. We never turn away a family. And right now we have 710 women and children uh, outnumbering our men by almost 200. It's like 710 to 540. The most people we've had under our roof by far since the Great Recession. And this month, in the month of September, giving has been down and we've had to dip into our reserves for the first time in a long time. And we're supposed to be building up our reserves for the next downturn that could come and so it hurts a lot to have to dip into our reserves. So please give what you can financially. Help continue this great work. Help us to keep the doors open to every woman, every family that comes to our doors. God bless you and thank you.